In the previous short bit segment, I covered what snack bars are and how to create them. In this tutorial, I'll cover how to change the colors of snack bars, as well as change the duration and add a dismiss button. So over here, I have the app, and when I click this, you can see that a snack bar appears with some different colored text, as well as a dismiss button. So this is the app from the previous video, and as you can see, I have my snack bar object over here. What I'm going to do to modify the background of my snack view is create a view object, and I'm going to say snack dot get view now using this view i can change the color so i'm going to say view dot set background color and i created a video on how to change colors programmatically in, in java so what i'm going to do is provide it a hexadecimal code as an integer and i'm just going to go and provide it some random code like like this which will be a dull green and that will be our background now to change the text color i'm going to create this text view object for my um, view I'm going to call it text. I'm going to say equals view dot find view by ID. And then I have to say Android dot support dot um, design. And then dot um, R dot ID dot snack bar text. Now that I have this text view, I can set the color by saying something like text dot set um, text color. And you, the default is for this is white, so I'm going to set it to black. So I'm going to say 0xff. The ff is for the transparency, and I'm going to provide six zeros. Now that I've done that, another thing I can do is create a button, a dismiss button. In order to do this, I'm going to use my snack bar object. But actually, before I do that, in order for these changes to take place, I have to do snack dot show at the bottom. So now what I'm going to do is say snack dot set um, action. And I'm going to provide it some text, so I'm going to say dismiss. And now I have to provide it with a new on click listener. So new view to on click listener. And basically, when the snack bar's dismiss button is pressed, or it look, looks like I misspelled it, when it's pressed, what I want to do is dismiss it. So I'm going to say snack dot dismiss. And then you can see where to make it final. So I'm just going to click on that, Alt Enter, make snack final, and that's done. Additionally, something else that I want to do is change the length that the snack bar is displayed. So I'm going to come to snack bar, uh, the part where I'm making the snack bar by saying snack bar dot make. I'm going to change this to snack bar dot length indefinite. So unlike a toast, there's a third option that we have snack bar um, dot length indefinite. What I'm going to do now is say snack dot set duration and provide it the duration in milliseconds. So I'm going to say uh, something like five seconds. So basically, the user has two ways of dismissing the snack bar. Just waiting for five seconds and automatically dismiss or by clicking the dismiss button over here. And I'm going to run this code. So this is what the app looks like. I have this button that says click me. And when I click it, this snack bar appears. It's partially covered. And when I click dismiss, it disappears. And when I click it again, it should automatically disappear after five seconds. So the choice of colors wasn't that great, especially for the background. And you can go and change that. And to change the color of the, um, the button that says dismiss, you just have to say snack dot set action text color and provide a color. So in this short bit segment, you learned how to modify the snack bar bit by adding a button, as well as changing the colors of the text and background. Please subscribe to stay updated for future videos and share the channel with friends. Until then, happy developing from IJ Apps.